What's up guys, The Hackspot here, and this isn't just a regular jailbreak update, I've got some exciting information that indicates we will be seeing a new jailbreak for iOS 11.2 and 11.3 here very, very soon. Now before I start, I've got a little surprise for you guys from the sponsor over at Next Gadgets. So over here, I have a 4-in-1 Apple wireless charging stand, and this is absolutely fantastic, I love this product, bam. Ooh, okay, so you gotta assemble it. Let's go take this little note. Your next gadget. So again, the link will be down in the description to this product. All right, so here it is assembled. And I must say this product is very high quality. To start with, the entire construction is metal and the design feels very Apple-esque. So look at the iPhone 5S. So you guys can see the chamfered edges. This has the same design going for it and I absolutely love it. All premium materials. So basically you can charge all your devices on this one stand. And I think it looks very elegant and beautiful. Might be better than the Air Power Pad. So it looks better. So you just place your iPhone right there. Then you got your Apple Watch. So you can place that right there. And I don't have AirPods. But if I did, there's a little cradle for those right there too. Wow, I'm going to replace my current wireless charger with this. It just looks so nice and feels right. They gave very close attention to detail, even with the screwdriver. I mean, look at that. It even matches too. Overall, I'm really liking this product. It's very high quality and it's not too expensive either. Now for you guys, my subscribers, they are hooking it up. So Next Gadget told me that the first 20 people who emailed them will get this charging stand sent out to them for free. Now, if you're not the first 20, 20, don't worry, they will hook you up maybe with a 50% off discount code. So guys, that email will be down below inside the description. Hurry quick. If you have your notifications on for this video, you probably got that charging stand. Again, first 20 people and then after that, people will get 50% off discount codes. If you aren't lucky, don't worry, you can still buy it on Amazon. And again, I highly recommend this product. It's worth every penny. I love it, and I am sure you guys will too. Also, if you're one of those people with notification on and you were able to snag a wireless charger by sending an email, congrats. And same goes for you guys who got your 50% off discount code. And don't worry if you missed out, link will be down in the description to their Amazon. But yeah, guys. All right, so let's get started and talk about only the information that you guys need to know. So all the previous information that I didn't cover all leads up to this, and I'm only gonna be talking about this because that's all you really need to know. So basically, if I head over to Twitter, Ian Beer, basically basically made the iOS 11 jailbreak possible with Electra through exploits and vulnerabilities that were found. Anyways, if I go back in the past to his previous tweet, he said, if you're interested in bootstrapping iOS 11 kernel security research, keep research only device on iOS 11.1.2 or below. Now, why is this important? Well, shortly after this tweet, we got a Electra jailbreak for iOS 11.1.2 and below. Now, this is exciting news because recently, just four hours ago, he tweeted this. If you're interested in bootstrapping iOS kernel security research, keep a research only device on iOS 11.3.1 for more TFPO release probably next week. Oh, and the iOS 11.1.2 KDP compatible kernel debugging release is coming soon. So in short, what this tweet means is that we will be seeing a jailbreak pretty soon, hopefully, for 11.3.1 and below. So it's really cool. This is the guy who made Electra possible, and we're going to be seeing a new jailbreak here coming very shortly. Now, as soon as I saw this tweet, I got super excited because I've been looking at recent tweaks that are coming out or are being developed, and there are just some incredible tweaks that are really going to be jailbreaking to life. I am honestly most excited for a tweak called CarBridge that's coming up, which it's going to allow you to basically put any app on CarPlay so you can watch YouTube, play Angry Birds, or anything like that on your CarPlay in your car. So that's going to be awesome. I cannot wait for that. You can play YouTube videos and just anything you want. You can put any app up there. That's just one of the many tweaks that are coming. You can, again, customize your device to be exactly how you want to theme it, make it look completely different. Oh my God, I am so excited. And being able to jailbreak on my iPhone 10. I just cannot wait. Now, again, this jailbreak is for iOS 11.3.1 and below. So you're going to want to make sure that you go ahead and downgrade if you're on iOS 11.4. Otherwise, iOS 11.4 does block the vulnerabilities and this jailbreak once it's released. So you will not be able to jailbreak if you're on 11.4. And guys, Apple is soon going to be not signing iOS 11.3 anymore soon in the next week or so. So you guys want to downgrade right now. Share this video with everyone you know so that they're 
you're able to downgrade and basically be ready for the jailbreak once it's released. So guys, basically any firmware on iOS 11.3.1 or below will work with this jailbreak. So if you go to settings and go down to general and go to about, you guys will see your version. And my iPhone 10 is on 11.2.1 and that is below 11.3. So I'm basically good to go. I don't need to do anything. Of course, it is best to be on 11.3.1 because you got all the bug fixes and improvements, but do not go above that. If you go above that, you will not be able to jailbreak. So then now the question remains, if you are now iOS 11.4 or any other firmware and you do want to get to 11.3.1, how do you downgrade to 11.3.1? It's very simple. I'm going to be showing you guys here how to do it. Just follow along this short process. You will be needing a computer, but that's about it. All right, how to downgrade to iOS 11.3.1. And again, do this quick because Apple will stop signing this firmware and you won't be able to do it in the future. All right, guys, please do this right now. Don't delay. Anyways, what you will be needing is your lighted USB cable. Go ahead and plug it into your device, plug your device into your computer, and that is step one. So my device is plugged in. All right, guys, so now that we're on a computer, let's get started. So my device is plugged in, and if I open up iTunes, you guys can see it wants me to update to 11.4. Do not do that, guys. If you're already on a lower firmware, stay there. Do not update, so do not ask me again. Do not do this accidentally. Cancel. Screw that. I want my jailbreak. Anyways, click on your device, make sure that it is connected, and you are basically good to go. Let's go ahead and minimize iTunes, and now we want to do is go and open up your internet browser and head over to this website, which a link to will be down below in the description, ipsw.me. And anyways, over here, once here, you want to go ahead and select your device. So for me, I have the iPhone and over here, select the model. So I have the iPhone 10 GSM. So I'm gonna click on that. And over here is guys will see is if it's still being signed and if Apple is still signing iOS 11.3.1. So right now, as you guys can see, it's just green. So we're good to go. Once it's over here and it says it is in red, then you can no longer downgrade, unfortunately. So do this quick before that happens. So anyways, we want to downgrade to iOS 11.3.1. It can also update to it if you want to do that. So you have all the latest bug fixes and improvements. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and click on this right here. There's a download button on, right, on the bottom right there. Go ahead and click on download and it will start to download. Simple as that, no ads. And it's basically downloading the entire software, so it might take a little bit of time. It's a pretty big file, like three gigabytes. And anyways, once it's done downloading, you guys will see on our desktop. Now, mine's not finished downloading, but I'm not gonna wait for it to finish because my phone's already on 11.2.1. But anyways, once it's done, you wanna make sure that the file does say .ipsw at the end. So if you go ahead and tap on the name. Okay, I can't do this on this. It's not done downloading. I'm just gonna use this folder for example. So for example, this is the file, okay? At the end, you want to have a .ipsw. So if it's not .ipsw at the end, you want to change it to that, but this already is, so I'm gonna be good to go. At least once it's done, finish downloading. It's gonna be .ipsw. So leave the name as is, just make sure at the end it's .ipsw. Anyways, once that part is done, you guys are basically almost done. Open up iTunes and over here you want to click on update, but while holding one of these keys. So on Windows, you want to hold on on the shift button on your keyboard and then click on update. Keep on holding down shift and click on update on Windows. And if you're on Mac, hold on the option key and click on update. So on Mac is option and on Windows at the shift button. And once you do that, you'll get this pop-up right here. And you want to select your iOS 11.3.1 software they downloaded and select it and hit open. Now mine's not finished downloading, so it's not gonna let me do that right now, but you guys can see that open button lights up. Anyways, you want to click on open and your phone will start downgrading back to iOS 11.3.1. Now again, you want to do this while over here on this website, it is still green, so if I go back, Again, you want to go over here, click on your device, and make sure this is still green. Otherwise, if you do try to downgrade after, it will not work. So yeah, guys, that's basically all there is to downgrading. It's very simple. You just download the software file, hold down one of those keys, click on update, and it will just downgrade to that file that you selected. And all right, guys, so once that is done, you'll basically be ready to jailbreak once it is released to the public. I'm so excited for jailbreak, guys. Cannot wait. Again, downgrade right now. Don't miss that window of opportunity because you're gonna regret it after. Anyways, again, check out the wireless charging stand. Also, if you're one of those people with notification on and you were able to snag a wireless charger by sending an email, congrats. And same goes for you guys who got your 50% off discount code. And don't worry if you missed out, link will be down in the description to their Amazon. But yeah, guys, the product is amazing. I love it for my Apple Watch, for my iPhone. The link will be down below in the description. You go check it out, it's pretty cheap and it's made of high quality materials. Peace out. Of my chest, train my mind so I forget. Sink your teeth into my bones, dig me out, then fill the hole. Tell me apart.